Welcome to the starters final here at Grammar um, with Guildford Young versus Launceston Grammar in first basketball. Set to be a big game here today. Yep. Mr. Watke, uh, Grammar. Coach and a half, you yeah, call him. Yeah, I'd call him a bit of a coach, to be honest. Yeah, I'd call him a coach, to be honest. He really, if anything, he's kind of the team father. I'd call yeah, him that. I would call him the team father. He has been nervous here today. Um, boys have been training hard for Grandma, and I'm sure the same for Guildford. The crowd is building here as well. It's getting quite loud in, loud in this stadium. Our captain for Guildford is Luke Brown. Uh, oh, it's actually ooh. Ben Brown, the AFL player's um, younger brother. Yep. That's a bit of a fun fact for you. Lewis Crennan is the vice captain, and Zachy Anise, number six for Grammar. Yes. <laughs> Josh Vimpany here doing jump ball, just coming back off injury. Yeah, was it his ankle? I think yeah, it was his ankle. Definitely the ankles. And we're off. Bit of a slow start. Um, yes. One of the Clark twins there. Both of them in the team. Yeah, that's pretty special. And it's back to grammar possession. Zaki, our captain there. Off to Bryce Redburn. Oh, almost lost it there. And our first foul of the game from Jordan, Jordan Stratzma. Stratzma. And that's a grammar ball. Jack Van Hyde, former. Was he a state player, Minnie? Yes, he was. Yeah. Shot by Max Linden. Oh, travel on. Was that one of the Clark twins? No. Yeah, that was. Was it? Noah. <laughs> Back to Zachy. Guildford looked to be playing a bit of a zone here. Not saying that one, Mads. <laughs> Don't really know, man. Josh on the rebound. Ooh. The crowd are building. Ooh. <laughs> you could hear their disappointment. Definitely a bit of a nervous start, I think, from the boys. Yes. Back in Guildford possession. Another foul. Just grab a foul from Matt. It's going to be Guildford ball. Back in grammar possession. Max Linden taking it up the court. Oh, another foul for Guildford. This is going to be two shots. Bryce Redburn at the line, ready to take his shots. Is that Stratzman's second foul? Yeah, it must be. Early on. The other Clark twin has just subbed off Jordan. He's made that first one. That's the first point for Grandma. <laughs> Unfortunate in that last shot. Back in Guildford possession. Oh, that's a Grandma foul.
And he has made both of those shots. One of them. One of them. Sorry, one of them. Ooh. And that's a three for Bryce Redburn. Grammar in the lead by three. Yeah. Fired back with that one. Ooh, travel from Zachary. It is even. Four minutes into the game. How long Jack Van der Hyde? Another foul for Guildford. Josh and Godsway subbing in for Grammar. Coming off Bryce and Max. Ooh. Travel by Josh Vimpany there. It's the ankles. <laughs> so back in Guildford possession from Lachlan McCarthy. He took that up there. Oh, another foul. Gosh. That one on Josh. Grammar sitting on four fouls at the moment. Guildford on three. Three. Mm. Great rebound there by Jake Grant. Guildford bench told to calm down a little bit there. Got a bit rowdy. So Luke Brown, number 12, just passing it off to... Fucks it into the Lewis McCrennan, vice captain. It is Guildford in the lead by two. Grammar breaking this press that Guildford got set up very easily. Back in for Jack. Jack Van Hyde played a solid six and a half minutes there. Oh, that was great rebound there by Luke Brown. Back Luke Brown with those great rebounds. Oh, Josh Wimpany. Still. Xavier Clark to his brother. 
Oh, shot by Lewis Brennan, vice captain. to a shot. Uh, I think that's Luke Brown. It'll be two shots for Noah Clark. <laughs> Grandma Doobie, um, they do seem to be rolling through their subs quite a bit this quarter, I have noticed. Alex Tubbs, first minutes on the court tonight. You have something to say about that one? Seven here. Guilford in the lead. Back into possession for Guilford. Great shot there by. By Lachlan McCarthy. Great turnaround there, Guilford. Luke Brown is quite the rebounder, using his height to his advantage. Another shot for Guilford. Guilford are quite the taller side than Grandma. Open shot for Bryce. Luke Brown, I think that's three rebounds in a row. And he's got two shots. Luke Brown will go to the line this time. That foul on Bryce Redburn? I think it was. Unfortunate in the first shot. <laughs> and in the second. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Slowing it down a bit, using their time. It's good for this ball. So it is Guildford 16, Grammar second at the end of the first quarter.
we're only doing minute breaks in each quarter. I think the game's a bit shorter with the quarter time breaks. Pretty sure that's normal, Mads. I thought we were talking about that before. Grab a ball. Oh, travel by Jack Vanderhyde. He's not happy about that one. He's not happy. I think travel's called actually in the first quarter. Yeah, surprisingly. And it's good for ball. Shot there by Lachlan McCarthy. Ooh. And it's back in Guildford possession. Nice try by Jake Grant, just not quiet. Oh, rebound there by Zaki. It's going to go all the way. Almost. One of the Clark brothers, Xavier. <laughs> Luke Brown with those rebounds. And it's Grammar's ball. And it's a timeout for Grandma. So, calling timeout after two minutes, just over two minutes. Guilford have been applying quite a bit of pressure to Grandma in their offense. Definitely got a bit more height and strength. Yeah, the Guilford team is packed with quite a lot of height compared to the Grammar team. Some older boys in that one. Yeah. Grammar's a bit of a younger side. Grammar have got quite a number. How many grade tens? We've actually got quite a number of grade tens. Even a grade nine, I think, in their squad. Guilford being only grade eleven and twelve, could that be an advantage? Grammar possession. Max and Zaki taking it up in court. Guilford's ball on the sideline. And another foul on Bryce. It's two in under 20 seconds. Mac Wilcox, subbing on for his first time. For Bryce. 
Max another grade 10 in this team. Ooh. One of four, I believe. <laughs> Guildford are really on top with their rebounds today. I think definitely their height is um, advancing them yeah, in that sector. Them out there. Yeah. And that is a great shot there by Charlie McMahon. Subbing on for Lachlan McCarthy. That's two shots That's two for Josh Vimpany. Two fouls each for both sides. Ten twenty four is the current score. And he's made the second. Subs on. We've got Lewis Lewis Crennan coming on. Luke Brown subbing off and Max Linden coming off with God's Way coming on. A foul on God's way, Williams. Jordan Stratzman there. God's Way's had a hit to the eye. Yeah. Could be right. Not sure what happened there. Jordan that Riddle. height. Yeah, he's got that rebound and got it in. Two shots, two points. Another foul. Jeez. Piling up the fouls today. That'll be two shots. Josh and Godsway coming off. Two shots and from Lewis Mack Crennan. Coming off. Jake Great. Max and Alex Tug coming back in. Grandma are rolling through their subs today. It's great to see different people just getting on the court and having a crack. Yeah, definitely. Lewis Crennan, unfortunate with the first shot. Max is lucky with the second one. Max Linden bringing the ball up. Into the hands of Alex Tubb. 
Bit of a star Ooh. in all fields. Yeah, he's I've quite heard. a sportsman. Yeah. Footy, cricket, and basketball. Oh. 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 Another, foul. Another foul there for Grandma. <laughs> Peter Watke is. He's getting a bit stressed. Teeth are shattering over there, I can see. One shot here from Noah Clark. And a rebound. Jeez, Guilford in their rebounds. Yeah. Jack Van Hyde, fast speed. Oh, great shot there by Max Linden. Oh, a bit of a fumble there by Charlie McMahon. Oh, bit of back to Milford. Bit of speedy play there. Zaki taking it. Oh. It's definitely getting a bit physical. It is. It's been quite the physical game. We've, got a, we've had a quite number of fouls. Quick couple of turnovers. Jeez. Grandma, Alex Tubb with that rebound. Into the hands of Jack Vanderhyde. Slowing on it. Oh. And that'll be one shot for him. Every time I see Jack Van Hyde play, he's got a different pair of shoes on. Yeah, sounds about right. Alex Tubbs subbing off. We've got, is that Bryce that just came on? And he's made that. He's 19.31 in Guilford's favour. Jordan Strutz with that shot. Guilford with their rebounds again. Max Makeley, I think that was, with that strong grab. We're too happy about that one. Seconds left on the clock in the second quarter. See if Guilford can. Ooh. Josh, Josh Impany taking that one. 20 seconds left. Link up. Ooh. Sideline, that'll be Grammar's ball. Grammar seemed to have come back in that quarter. Bit of momentum there. Yeah. Building up. Let's see if they can continue it on to the next quarter.
the start of the third quarter here. Guilford's ball. Swapped ends. Yep. Redburn to the line. Five thirty-three, only eight points behind Grammar. I mean, Grammar only eight points behind Guildford. Lots Ooh. of time there on that shot. Yeah. Great rebound, rebound by Bryce. Ooh. Oh, that was that was class, Woody. Really. That was class. Guilford are not happy with the call on that foul. That'll be a grammar ball at the sideline. Luke Brown. Moving the ball around quite quickly. Haven't popped it up yet. Oh, sh shot by Noah Clark there. The grammar crowd is building. Just got a hand to that shot. Yeah. Josh Vimpany there to receive that rebound. Fell into his lap. It was positioned perfectly. Maybe a foul on Bryce. Jake Grant subbing on for Josh Vimpany and God's way for Bryce. Really getting around the boys. Yeah. That'll be Grammar's ball. Hit out by Noah Clark. An attempt to hit in, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Off the foot. Happy with that one. Oh, Gilson with their 
rebounds, Jordan Strasmer. That'll be one shot. That was a foul on Zaki, I think. Oh, the Grammar crowd. Doesn't face him. him. Yeah. He did not get sucked out by that. Guilford stealing that off. Lewis Cannon. Josh Vimpany subbing on Jack Van Hyde. Axel is not happy at all with that one. <laughs> so I think I saw a touch there, I have to say. with the thumbs up to that call. Ooh, and a foul on Jake Grant. <laughs> Jack Vanderheide on for Jake there. Yeah. Back in after Luke Brown's attempt. Josh Vimpany slots it in. That's trouble. Another trouble. I'm, I'm thinking Ooh. the courts are a bit slippery. Yeah. Honestly. Time out to go It's been an intense seven minutes of the third quarter. Good to see Mr. Wocky suiting up for today's game. Yeah. You don't often see that. It's quite a special occasion, I think. Oh, yeah. I think he's just as nervous as the boys are. A bit more, I'd say. Yeah. Talking to him pre-game, I think he was a, a bit worried with Guilford's size. Yeah. Um, they tower over him. I yeah. Think, yeah. A bit worried when they walked in, but yeah, Grandma definitely keeping up. Broadhurst uh, filling up Jack Madhouse drink bottle there. Oh. Team manager almost. Yeah. yeah. I've loved to see um, the camaraderie yeah, between yeah. Mm. players and non players. Everyone's getting around each other. It's great to see. Yep. Bit of pressure on Zaki by um, one of the Clark brothers. And a foul. Ooh, someone's down. Zaki. I'm surprised it's not. Oh no, it's not. It was Luke Brown actually. Yeah. 
Mango Jacket, Mango! Ooh, Grammar Crowd really getting on with that. Football captain there. Yeah. Ooh, Josh down. Not a surprise, but he's back up mm. straight away. Lewis Crennan there. No one there to rebound from Grammar. So Guilford making it up. Oh, Jack Vanderhyde. Putting a lot of pressure there on the crown. It'll be Guilford ball on the line. Fast ball by Max Linden. Ooh. Guilford able to turn that round very quickly. A minute 15 left on the clock. And that'll be a foul on Josh Grimpany and two shots for Luke Brown. First one. And then the 10 point lead. Mm. The, the crowd were not able to put off Luke Brown there. Excitement. 30 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. That was Jack Vanderhyde with the steal. Up and about for the that crowd. one. Zathy, our captain. And that is the end of the third quarter. Guilford by nine points. So we're back. Last quarter of the Sardis final. See what Grammar can do. Yeah. It's 
Guildford's ball. Holding foul on Jack Vanderhyde. Interesting. Hmm. Jack Grant. Great intercept there. Oh, taken out of his hands, Bryce. Charge, yeah, I think it was. Grammar's ball. Gilford not happy with that call. No. Grammar very happy with that call. <laughs> not sure about that one. Mm. Grammar's ball. Bit of an air ball by Jack. Xavier onto Luke Brown. Lewis Crennan on shore. Grammar's ball. Josh Empty coming on for Jake Grant. Zachy left with two. Oh, from twin to twin. Another oh, travel. travel. This court must be very slippery. I can go up that. Buckland McCarthy subbing on for Lewis Crennan. Shot there through a line of defense. Oh, Josh Rivney unlucky in that. Luke Brown. Jack Scott Spit talking. Watch. It's another shot. I think one of the Clark twins. We're pretty special playing with your twin, don't you think? Yeah. Um, Ooh, Jack Van Hyde unlucky again. Back to Zaki, bring up the court almost Ooh. all of this game. Yeah. Oh, wow. A charge. Guilford's ball. Mac Wilcox coming on for Max Linden. Bryce coming off, Godto coming on. Five and a half minutes left on the clock. 
Guildford in the lead by 15. Great rebound by Zaki. Mm. Ooh. Grammar's ball. No clock. Called for a foul there. Bernhard able to keep it in. Went out, unfortunately. So, subs on. We've got Jake Grant coming in. Josh coming off. Josh coming off with injury, so. Yeah, Max Mapley coming on there for Noah Clark. That'll be two shots. So one shot. Jack Ben had not happy with that call. Oh. The grammar crowd were there. Their bit of banter in the crowds was able to put yeah, them off. That's the first time that's worked all game. Oh. Xavier Clark able to take that out of Zaki's hands. It's a timeout. Three minutes 50 left on the clock for the Sartre's final. showing their support and of course I'm sure many are watching on the live stream. It's grammar's ball. Three and a half minutes left to go. Talk on the court. Ooh. Jordan Strats were there. Just not falling. Yeah. Ooh, back into grammar possession. Good pass there by Zachary and Max who popped it up. Great rebounding today by Guildford. No defense on that shot there. Josh Impany. Oh, Jack Anhyde. He's got it. Okay. 
another foul there and it'll be two shots for Guildford. Alex Tubb coming on for Josh Vimpany. Big sub for Guildford. Yeah, geez, almost swapped the whole team. Not quite. That's why I said almost winning. Coming on for Jordan Chatswell. Two foul shots in. Mm. Alex Tubb. Not quite. Zachy, Zachy able to get that ball. Ooh. Great ball handling. Wow. Movement. Straight that to the right. Great play there. Zaki again. Giving it the, oh wow. I think that was two for Charlie as well. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Minute and six seconds left on the clock. Close. Max's energy. Yeah, wow. He just went sliding there. Oh, a bit unlucky. Back to Max again. Jack Vanderhyde. Capable shooter. Oh, wow. That was tough, not quite. You can tell the Guilford boys are. They're getting excited, but Grandma have not dropped their heads. Seconds. Oh, travel. Gosh. This could be the last possession of the game. Yeah. It's been a great Alex game. Alex Tubb. Oh, wow. It's been a great game. It's been quite close. Competitive. Well done to Guildford. Sardis Champions 2022. Two years in a row, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even look at the clock over there. Well done to both teams. It was a great game. Fantastic.
come. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, jump over this side. The, the camera. Work the camera. Yeah. Ah. Give him a good side, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, just want to thank both teams for the game today. Guildford, thanks for, for coming up uh, and playing the Grammar Boys. So Grammar Boys, first time ever to make a state final. And uh, I thought with you know, minutes left to go, it could have gone either way. So hold your head high. Uh, as a school, we're very proud of you. You really took the competition up and played in great spirit. So I'm very, very proud of the way you played. And I think the future looks very bright for you. Uh, for Guildford, um, back to back premiers, your classy outfit and your boys played exceptionally well. Game is played in great spirit. So. Uh, congratulations. I'd like to, just before I hand over the uh, trophy, uh, the grammar captain, would you like to say a few words on behalf of grammar school? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks to you for coming out. You guys are a really good team and it showed, like, it's been dominant all year and it, you just, you know, really took it to that game. Good job and congratulations. But to our boys, really proud of us. Like, we've been working for a few years now, so um, thanks to Miss Watkins here as well. Yeah, thank you. Good job. I'll hand over the, the shield now to the captain of Guildford, who might also like to say a few words. Back to um, First of all, to Grandma, congrats, mate, you here. We both don't like some packs, so it's always good to beat them. Um, you guys, especially for a young team, you're really good. Um, shot the lights out. Um, had us for over a bit there, but um, our boys, brilliant game. Um, kept their heads up the whole time. We could have easily dropped like other Guildford teams have, but stayed up. It was real <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, thanks for holding it here, and the crowd was awesome, even though I'm getting into us, but <laughs> it's a bit better than us, so thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you.